guys it's Pira and welcome to a new video I'm so sorry if you guys can hear that but she is very energetic right now so please don't mind her and there's little Clea right there sleeping on my bed just she is just so cute and there's also Gracie in the background running two types of cats am I right <laughs> anyway um, in this video I will be trying on popular aesthetics that are popular in 2020 and 2021 so if you guys don't know what aesthetic means I am going to explain that to you guys first I actually wrote it down so that I can give you guys better explanation so I'm just going to read it from here so aesthetic means the pleasant positive or artful appearance of a person or a thing okay let's take me as an example like what is my aesthetic I don't exactly know if my aesthetic has a name I think my aesthetic is a mixture of cottagecore and I don't know maybe like a little bit of cottagecore and soft girl but more towards cottagecore I guess as you guys know I love pink I love girly stuff I mean you guys can see it from my room from my background everything is pink and everything is girly that is my aesthetic like I just love everything that is pink and girly and European style I really love European style so yeah that is my aesthetic or that is my style I guess you can um, put it like that too so I hope you guys understand a little bit of what an aesthetic means if you guys still don't understand then just keep watching the video because I'm going to tell you some popular aesthetics that are popular today and last year as well and just give you guys more depth towards what an aesthetic is and and now Gracie is here oh my god Grace Grace oh my <laughs> okay okay she's just chilling there oh Gracie Gracie <laughs> okay this is just my everyday life this is me every day with Gracie every single day am I right hmm? okay do you do you want to stay there do you want to be in this video oh do you want to be here but is that comfortable to sit there or do you just want to sit here on my lap okay just sit here on my lap and just be comfortable let's go to the video right now okay so the first aesthetic for this video is e-girl e-girl is a really really popular aesthetic in 2020 and still in 2021 i've seen so many e-girls or e-boys on tiktok um it is very very popular so what is an e-girl aesthetic let me explain it to you i also wrote it down here on my notebook this is BT21 notebook um, it's a little pricey but this is just so cute and I live by this notebook anyway um, my definition of an eagle aesthetic is eagle is an aesthetic that is a mix between grunge and anime eagle aesthetic is always associated with winged eyeliner vibrance and heavy eyeshadow and a childlike aesthetic often associated with anime and cosplay and now let's um, look at me trying to be an eagle i filmed a tiktok video while i did the makeup for this aesthetic since this is the complete opposite of my usual style so please enjoy this video first In Pinterest, I saw a lot of style with black t-shirt layered with black and white striped long sleeved inner. So I thought why not recreate it for this look. I paired them with light denim jeans to give some light to the look and make it more stylish with a bucket hat and platform boots. Thank you. 
the next aesthetic that I am going to show you guys is soft girl aesthetic. I told you guys before that my aesthetic might be a mix between cottage core and soft girl and what is a soft girl? My definition of a soft girl aesthetic is a soft girl is just like eagle aesthetic but in a parallel universe. Soft girl aesthetic has the same elements as eagle but completely opposite color palette. Soft girls are into sweet pink or pastel outfits, playful hairdos, and ultra girly makeup. If e-girls color palette is more towards the dark side, soft girls are mostly pastel colors like pastel pink or pastel blue, just pastel bright colors, but the element is pretty much the same. For this look, the first time I tried it on, I wasn't sure if this look fits me well, but the more I look, the more I grow to this look. Anyway, I'm going with pastel blue for this look. I have this cute blue cloud sweater that I wear on top of a basic white shirt, and I paired it with a light denim asymmetrical skirt that is also layered with a white legging. I know, lots of layers in this look. I complete the look with blue beret for the cutesy look, white sneakers, and a doll. Okay, so the third aesthetic is Dark Academia. When I hear Dark Academia, my mind instantly goes to Harry Potter. I feel like Harry Potter is Dark Academia aesthetic. The other thing that I think when I hear Dark Academia or whenever I see a Dark Academia aesthetic is also... If you guys watch Chilling Adventures of Sabrina, you know that Sabrina went to two high schools, the normal human school and the witch school, which is called the Academy in the show. The Academy, I feel like that fits so right with Dark Academia aesthetic. To let you guys understand more about what a Dark Academia aesthetic is, anyone who identifies with Academia reverse simple sophisticated dressing. Dark Academia aesthetic adds a gothic twist with a neutral color palette. Dark Academia is an aesthetic that revolves around classic literature, the pursuit of self-discovery and a general passion for knowledge. I actually really really like this aesthetic. This is not exactly my style but I really love the neutral color palette that it has and I also love like every shows or every movies that looks like Dark Academia aesthetic like Harry Potter. I love Harry Potter so much and I also love Chilling Adventures of Sabrina so much. Like I just love movies and TV shows like that. So Dark Academia aesthetic is just very exciting for me to um, remake and I had a lot of fun filming this one and picking my outfits and doing my makeup so yeah let's let's see now going with neutral colors only for this one I have a black long sleeved inner with a brown oversized vest on top I paired them with brown plaid trousers to give off a preppy vibe I also completed the look with black loafers and a beret to make the look even more chic. And lastly, the proper prop for this aesthetic that we can't forget. Books! And of course, I went with the Harry Potter book. So the next aesthetic is cottage core, which is an aesthetic that I feel like the closest aesthetic to my aesthetic. Really, really love cottage core. I have quite a lot of cottage core outfits in my wardrobe, so making this one wasn't hard for me. I have a lot of options since 
this is pretty much my style so what is cottagecore cottagecore is an aesthetic that celebrates simple living it encourages a lifestyle rooted in traditional skills like baking bread gardening and sewing your own clothes it emphasizes simplicity and the soft peacefulness as an escape from the modern world it is a very very pretty aesthetic and i just really really wow i can't speak I just really really love it so now let's go to cottagecore aesthetic video my favorite aesthetic for this look i picked my floral sage green dress because this dress creams cottagecore for the bottom i chose again light denim jeans since sage green and light denim is a pretty combination i also went with a basket bag since it is the closest thing i can get to a picnic basket and of course, a flower prop. So the next one is minimalist aesthetic. I'm not sure if minimalist aesthetic is popular i don't think it's a very popular aesthetic i feel like minimalist aesthetic is the aesthetic of that girl do you guys know what that girl is that girl is just you know someone who is just organized and have their life um perfectly aligned like they have their life together and they eat healthy, they live a healthy lifestyle, and they are successful. If you guys are Gen Z's, you probably know what is that girl. Um, anyway, so minimalist aesthetic involves neutral colors and it emphasizes simplicity. For the outfits, minimalist style is all about wearing basic items but make it sophisticated, which is really cool. Minimalist aesthetic is all about basic items. In this look, I have a basic white shirt that I layer with a simple plain brown shirt, light denim jeans, classic black bag, and black loafers. All the items are simple, but the overall look is definitely sophisticated. Moving on to the next aesthetic, which is Y2K. Y2K is year 2000. So Y2K aesthetic is inspired by the 2000s makeup and fashion style. In this aesthetic, we are going back to the 2000s and dress up with everything that's trending in the 2000s. I was born in 1998, so I, I was in the 2000s, like I lived throughout the 2000s. I know a little bit of the trends from the year 2000s, but not really a lot. Like my knowledge of what is trending from the year 2000 is from movies that I've watched or just from the internet and from what I have gathered. The 2000s trend is sort of divided into like two sections because the year 2000 is the year of bands and it's also the year of like emo stuff like every Levine thrived in the year 2000 simple plan that style was very emo but at the same time there are also a lot of chick flicks from the year 2000 like Mean Girls I take fashion inspos from Mean Girls to see what was trending back in 2000s and this is actually the style that I chose for this video the bright side of it not the emo side but I feel like it is divided into two but I chose the bright side one because that is more my style let's go see the video I went pretty crazy for the makeup for this one and I actually kind of like it for the outfits I have a pink plaid shirt that I transformed into a tube top and I pair it with a white shirt underneath it. To give more pink to this look, I added a pink trouser, pink shoes, pink necklace, pink bag, and pink beret. I love this look so much. But at least I try to do right by you. 
aesthetic for today's video is please don't mind my language but this is what the aesthetic is called art ho what is an art ho aesthetic art ho aesthetic is an aesthetic based around a love for art a connection to nature painting and flowers art ho is hippie like and is always associated with red colors like yellow mustard orange green just pretty much you know bright colors like like this color can be one of Art Ho's aesthetic color palette. It's usually an aesthetic of artsy people. To be honest, I had quite a hard time recreating this one and I don't think that what I recreated was even... Like I don't think you can call that an Art Ho aesthetic because I don't have a lot of that color palette in my wardrobe. It's just not my color. The aesthetic is really fun. I love the colors, the colorful colors that they always wear or the colorful makeup that, that they always wear. It's the complete opposite of my style. Actually, the complete opposite of my style is Eagle. But I didn't have a hard time recreating Eagle. But this aesthetic, um, it was really, really hard. Don't count too much on me for this one because I am also not confident with what I picked for this outfit. But this outfit was the best that I could find in my wardrobe because I happen to only have one yellow thing in my wardrobe and it is that one and I feel like this one is a bit more towards the girly side rather than art ho so yeah um, I'm really sorry for this one <laughs> okay let's let's see here we go this is the best that I could do for this look I have a white shirt that I pair with this really cute yellow play top on top of it I also have a light denim jeans. Again, I know. And to complete the look, I have this bright yellow little bag that I feel like has the most art ho element to this look. so that brings us to the end of this video what do you guys think about it which one do you think fits me the most or which aesthetic is your aesthetic or the closest to your aesthetic let me know please in the comments i hope you enjoyed this video if you like it then please click the like button if you want to see more of me and you haven't subscribed to me then please subscribe and don't forget to turn on the bell notifications so you know whenever i upload a new video and i shall see you guys on my next video bye bye